Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix FPS drops, lags, and stutter in Ark Raiders dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out because I'm going to be covering all of the game and PC settings. So make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and then come down to personalization. Then you have to click on colors and then disable transparency effects. This will disable windows and surfaces appear translucent to optimize your PC's performance. Then you wanna have to click on gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, it is running in the background consuming your CPU and RAM resources. Disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Then click on gaming once again, head over to game mode and this time you wanna have to to enable game mode it will optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background and this will fix all kind of black screen issues and game crashing issues probably then click on the graphic settings underneath and then you wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games as this will reduce input latency by using advanced features in the games and then click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated gp scheduling as this will utilize your graphic card to render the game then you wanna have to click on add desktop app button over here and go to the game and then you wanna have to go to the game that is arc raiders simply open up the phone Folder, then head over to Pioneer Game, Binaries, Win64, and select the Pioneer Game.exe. Click on the Add button over here, and once that's added, make sure that the GPU preference is selected to high performance and it is utilizing your primary graphic card. Then you wanna have to click on Find A setting over here and search for Core Isolation. Open it up, and once you're over here, you have to disable memory integrity. However, it helps your PC to prevent malicious code getting into your processes, but it consumes 15% of your CPU resources on average. And disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC and create a headroom for your CPU to perform better. Next step is compatibility settings and for that open up Steam, right click on your game, then click on manage and then you have to click on browse local files. Over here, right click, over here double click on pioneer game, binaries with 64 and then you have to right click on the exe file, go over to properties, select compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations over here. Then click on change high dpi settings, select this option, ok and then ok over here and this will help you to reduce unwanted input latency, fix black screen issues and micro stuttering that might be caused by this issue next step is fixing all of your network issues packet loss ping issues jitters and a lot more using gear booster i have left a free download link to gear booster right in the description below you guys can download it on your pc and once you're over here you guys will be prompted to a screen with more than 1000 games to choose from simply search for arc raiders over here and select the game Simply click on the boost button over here and it will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance and help you to fix all kind of packet loss, ping issues, input latency and a lot more. You can select the server nearest to you. You can also set to auto. For me, Singapore would be the nearest region to me. Also, head over to the burger icon over here, click on settings and then click on optimization settings and select optimize RAM after boosting. And this will help you to free up your RAM for gaming so that you will always have headroom while you're playing the games. Once again, I have left a free download link to Gear Booster right in the description below. You guys can go and check it out from there. Next step is disabling sysmin on your PC and for that simply search for services and open it up. Select any service, press S on your keyboard, come down and find sysmin over here. Double click to open it up and make sure that the startup type is set to disabled. If it is already running, click on stop, click on apply and OK. Sysmin consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then you have to select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it arc just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss once that's done simply close system properties next step is the arc raiders fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys will find in seven very simple yet useful folders over here the first one is cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu priority both of them helps you to optimize the performance of your pc by setting up the correct dword value for your processor if you guys have an intel cpu you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority and if you guys have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority Second one does the same thing but for your RAM, I have left a ton of registries according to your system. You can double click and apply that. I have 32 GB RAM and I have already double clicked and applied this registry on my PC. Then third folder over here is Arc Raiders Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. And I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless on your PC but they are still running in the background consuming your system resources. 
what you have to do is simply double click and disable every single one of these services over here except if you use any bluetooth operator services this will help you to disable unnecessary services in the background and help you to optimize the performance of your pc if once again if you want to revert any of them back again use the revert registries folder given over here fifth folder is power plan settings in which i have left import ultimate performance power plan you're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator this will add a power plan onto your PC which you guys can access using this power plan button over here. Select ultimate performance which should be added in this list and this will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your PC to optimize the performance of your processor. Once that's done, simply close it. Sixth folder over here is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency fix for which you need to leave your keyboard model name down over here and I'm gonna be sharing you guys the best buffer that you can apply onto your PC from this list. Sixth, The next one is mouse latency registries in which I have left fix mouse curve. You can edit it in notepad and see. It helps you change the mouse sensitivity, smooth mouse X and Y curves over here, improve mouse speed and threshold over here to optimize your mouse movements and make it more lifelike and reduce unwanted input delay. After that, the final one is programs in which I have left improve ultimate performance in which I have left clean temporary files. You're going to have to right click and then run it as administrator. This simple pop up will ask you to press enter on your keyboard and it will delete all temporary files off of your PC. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. The next one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and then run it as administrator. This simple software allows you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card. Find your GPU in this list. Click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high, then click on apply and simply close it next is quick cpu and this is a setup file install quick cpu on your pc and open it up once quick cpu opens up all you have to do is simply slide all of these core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance indexes up to 100 percent and turn on the ac button over here then for the power mode you guys can go with max performance overlay and click on the apply button once that's applied it will run your cpu on the maximum throttle and disable power saving on your cpu to optimize its performance once it's done simply close it and simply close the fps back next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy on your pc and once you're over here double click on computer configuration then administrative templates windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is turned on after that you have to set the default for all applications to force deny and click on apply this will enable the policy to force deny applications running in the background helping your system to save resources and improve your gaming performance next step is using hone.gg to optimize your pc's performance for our creators go to the link in the description below and download a hone for your pc for free and once you're over here what you have to do is simply head over to the optimizations tab then you're gonna have to click on disable windows focus assist disable sticky keys disable onedrive click on continue then click on general settings now you have to enable optimize IO operations, disable Xbox, click on continue, optimize the memory management, also enable general windows optimization over here, disable power throttling and then enable gaming optimization. And once all of that is done, head over to the games section and it will auto detect all of the games installed on your PC. Arc Raiders is right over here, select it and then click on best performance over here. All you have to do is simply click on activate preset and this will apply all of the required settings suggested by the pros and the game developers to optimize the performance of your PC even if you are on a low-end PC. It will fix all of your black screen issues, crashing issues and a lot of other issues by simply one click. Once again, Hone is a super powerful tool which is recommended by the pros. You guys can go to the link in the description below and download Hone.gg for yourself and explore more. Now, once all of that is done, you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. All right, once you're in the game, all you have to do is press your escape key and then go over to settings. Then under the graphic settings, you have to make sure that your window mode is set to borderless full screen. This will help you to keep your game running stable and exclusive full screen is not recommended because you might be needing upscaling and DLSS support. Second thing is NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. You guys can turn this thing on if you guys have a RTX series graphic card to get extra FPS on the cost of input latency. VSync should be disabled, NVIDIA reflex low latency should be set to on plus boost, frame rate limit should be set to unlimited. Now for the resolution scaling method, I have gone with NVIDIA DLSS since I have an NVIDIA based graphic card could be different for you so you can apply it according to your pc you also have options for fsr3 intel zest and 
nvidia dlss for the quality i'd recommend you guys to go with balanced or performance both of them works absolutely fine however if your pc can handle it go with quality over here for the dlss model i would highly recommend you guys to go with cnn but if you have a dlss 4 supporting graphic card you can use transformer but make sure that your gpu is more than 16 gigabytes of vram now you have fov which i have set to default and then motion blur should be disabled nvidia rtx global illumination i have gone with static for ray tracing nvidia rtx global illumination i would go with static and for the quality view distance high anti-aliasing medium shadows medium post processing low textures high effects medium reflections medium foliage medium global illumination resolution medium apart from that in the advanced tab in-game performance overlay i have kept it to disabled idle energy saving and inactive window energy saving both of them should be disabled once all of that is done you guys can now drop into the game with the highest fps possible guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel also we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and your sub would definitely help us a lot and i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out